Aloha, and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm John Strandberg. We are broadcasting live from the ThinkTech studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com. While there, please subscribe to our programs to get on our mailing list. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you stories of local businesses by local people. Our guests share with us their journey to building a successful business right here in our home. In the ThinkTech studio today is Lena Jasek, the owner of Premier Medi Spa and Barbershop. Actually, I said that wrong, but we'll fix that later. But Lena, welcome to the show. Thank you for being on. And before we go on with questions, tell us about yourself. Hey, John. Thanks for having me. Um, so I'm Lena, um, local girl, born and raised here. Um, grew up in Kahalu, grew up in Palolo, um, went to school here, and um, had an opportunity to partner with some of my very best friends um, to open up a really cool and fun business. Um, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Okay, very good. So tell us about your business, because I butchered the name, so you have to correct the name now. As long as you know what we do. It's Premier Barbershop and Medi Spa. So we have two locations. We have our first barbershop downtown on Bethel Street. That location, we strictly do amazing cuts and shaves for men. At our Ala Moana location, we do those same services, but we also added on Medi Spa services. So that's our laser hair removal, fat reduction, cellulite reduction, skin tightening, um, B12 shots for energy, um, facials, chemical peels, all that great stuff to make you feel good and look great. All I heard was fat reduction. I was thinking <laughs> I could definitely use some of that right now. We got some cool machines Lots for that. Lots of fat reduction on me. <laughs> You so said you went to school, you graduated from UH or? Did yep, you? UH grad. And you said, earlier from the show, you said you grew up in New Valley. and some of New areas. Valley, Pololo, okay. Kahalu. So you really are a local girl doing well in the community. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell me about Premier Medi Spa. Why the name and why did you decide on creating a barbershop concept? Yeah, so we really want to be the best and that's really what Premier stands for. And I think with my two partners, um, Rodney um, Ballesteros, he really brings the barbershop side, that amazing customer service. Helen brings our financial side and marketing. And then what I bring to the table is um, more of the strategic um, structural side and then also the medical side. Okay, well, let's talk about the medical side for a minute. Uh, I did a little research before the show mm -hmm. and realized that barbershops back in the, as my kids would call it, the olden days, mm -hmm was where someone would actually go and get their wounds injured, fixed up, mm -hmm. teeth pulled, you name it, the barbershop did it all. They're like the town surgeon, as it were. So now you're offering this Medi aspect. So is that everything but the haircut? So when you're ready to have your teeth pulled, come to us. No, kidding, kidding. Don't come to us for your teeth pulled. Go see your dentist for that. Definitely still go to your doctor. But definitely, um, one of our big focus with Ala Moana location is to bring some of those medical services that um, are, I would say, luxury services, mm -hmm. things that simplify your life. And we're trying to bring those to more of a mall setting, bring it out of a physician's office so people feel comfortable walking in and doing these things on a regular basis. Okay, so... I listed the show titles, not your dad's barbershop, or maybe your grandfather's barbershop. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Rodney's bringing that customer service aspect. What's different about your shop versus that little corner shop like at Supercuts or Fantastic Sam's? Mm -hmm. um, I think what we, what we have the opportunity to bring is really that aloha. So taking that Supercuts, Fantastic Sam's concept that's a national brand and really helping to brand barbering in Hawaii. So putting that aloha feel, that extra little um, customer service that you can expect in Hawaii. I think people feel it when they walk in. Um, first thing when you come to our shop, we ask you, oh, do you want to mean a drink? We have Coronas in the fridge. We have beers in the fridge. We have Tito's vodka um, available for shots. And it's something we offer to our guests complimentary. And it just kind of sets the mood and the tone. And then from there, we follow up with great customer experience, quality and cuts. This idea of having a beer as you're getting a haircut makes you want to get a cut every day almost. Yeah. It's Pauhana time. It's time for a haircut. Let's go. We definitely have Pauhana haircut time. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked about the history, and this is obviously when my dad went to the barber, he never had a shot or a beer before his haircut. What else does a barber do that 
you may not find in a typical Fantastic Sounds. Yeah, so we do scalp Lomi as well, kind of help unwind and relax you from your day. Um, we'll do straight razor shaves. Um, I think really just having that, that personal conversation, somebody understanding where you're from, what you're going through, a chance to unwind and relax. Um, you know, we really pride ourselves on our customer mm -hmm. service. Well, it's not just a haircut. You actually have a little therapy session with your barber. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so I've actually seen the movie's barber shop, of course, and everyone jokes around about your hairstylist knows more about you than maybe your spouse and your significant yep. other. It is, so it is a true statement then. It's definitely a true statement. <laughs> we know all the good stuff. Yep. So your partners, how did you guys meet and decide to come together and form this mm -hmm. business? So a long time ago, about 12 years ago, um, I was operating um, another business and uh, one of my good friends from college came in and he um, brought with him one of his coworkers. And it happened to be Kellen Briones. And he was, um, he became our business banker at the time. And I was actually his very first business banking client. And from there over the years, our friendship just continued. Um, and then, you know, as he was planning to expand Premier into Ala Moana Shopping Center, he asked me, oh, would you want to hop on board? I said, of course, because I knew he brought the professionalism to make a successful business expansion. And Rodney's just, such an amazing person. Um, you know, you've had an opportunity to meet him. Mm -hmm. And so I think we just have good synergy between the three of us, and it was a no-brainer. So three of you got together because of a school classmate opening a business together. What made everyone decide to open up at Ala Moana? Because Ala Moana Shopping Center is known to be one of the richest retail spaces in the uh -huh. country in terms of retail spaces. It is, and we're super proud of ourselves kind of got to pat ourselves on the back because we actually just celebrated our one year anniversary. So we paid rent at Ala Moana for a month. Um, which a month or a year? I'm sorry, one year, <laughs> one year. We made it one year. So we're really happy with that. Um, so the choice of Ala Moana really had to do with the Ala Moana team. Their marketing team's amazing. Um, their leasing team's amazing. Um, they really took care of us. And you know, with the Bethel Street location doing really well, we wanted to have our second location really be a statement and say, we're here, we've made it Hawaii, we're here to stay. And so our goal is definitely to expand the brand, to move into different um, areas uh, across Oahu and hopefully the outer islands, um, but really to make that second location a statement. Okay. So I actually had a chance to be one of your customers. Mm -hmm. uh, my the barber you set me up with was Jen, and she did a, I thought it was a fantastic job. She, for those of you who know me, this is not my normal haircut. It's a little <laughs> bit shorter than normal, and it's part of different. And I just noticed that it was what I call a precision style cut. Is that normal for your shop? Definitely. So um, quality is definitely one of the things that we stand on. So John's haircut was from two weeks ago, and it's still wearing well. You're still doing that haircut justice. Um, so our cuts are a little bit on the longer side. It's a 45 minute cut. Um, when you get the cut, you'll definitely notice some difference in technique from um, you know, a, a 10 minute, 20 minute cut. Um, it's definitely about precision, lining, um, making sure your lines are straight. Um, also picking a style and cut that fits and frames your face well. Yeah, I need a lot of help, so it, it works out well. Thank you. <laughs> you look great, as always. Yeah. I still need to go see that fat burning service or whatever <laughs> that is. But <clears throat> as a business, how have you decided when you said you were thinking about another location? What at what point in that business did you want to do that? I know you've been at Alamana for a year. Yeah. So I guess the way we're currently expanding is in Alamana we just added two additional barber chairs. So what we want before we necessarily take on additional space is make sure our team is happy. Make sure that they're comfortable and our people are ready to expand the brand as well. For us, um, our clients are always the center and focus of everything we do, but for them to really be um, well taken care of, we believe that our people need to be happy, comfortable, feel like this is their second home. And for some of them, they like it actually more than, you know, when you're having trouble at home, come to work and you'll have a great time. So we try to set up that environment. So the second, uh, addition of the two chairs has really been our next expansion. And then probably maybe six months a year, we'll be taking on a third location. 
How many employees total between the two shops? Yeah, so we have 32 between our reception team, barbershop team, and then our nursing team. So for the Medi Spa side, it's all registered nurses. And with my background, I got really lucky. I actually had the opportunity to pick and choose between the best nurses in the state. So they're all registered nurses, and they're all at the top of their game in different uh, aspects and clinical practices. And we were able to attract and um, meet some amazing, amazing people. I never would have thought a nursing degree was necessary for a barbershop. But that's, <laughs> it opens up new doors. My, my daughter's studying nursing. I'm like, you could work at a barbershop. She can. She can come work for us or with us, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're thinking about six months. You have 32 employees. Mm -hmm. You have six chairs. How many of those oh, are barbers? Oh, more, more than six chairs. So at Alamana, we had nine chairs and we just added two more. So okay. we have 11 at Alamana. And then downtown, uh, we have nine. Mm -hmm. I'm used to walking in, growing up, going to a barber with my dad, was, would sit Read the paper, just wait our turn. It was like a long assembly yeah. line. So we're trying to update that. Um, my background is um, systems flows. Um, I have my uh, Lean Six Sigma black belt certification. So for me, process flow and making sure the experience for the customer uh, is impeccable is really important. So we do a lot of our scheduling online. So you can just go to our website, Premier barbershophi.com or premiermedispahi.com and book from there. Um, we have a policy of, um, we try and take our clients, um, you know, exactly at that time. You, you'll never experience a wait time longer than 10 minutes. Um, and we just try and pride ourselves on really being customer focused and catering um, to our clients. Okay, that was a surprise to me, a Lean Six Sigma Black Belt. <laughs> and you run a barbershop. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who know what that is, Google it, you'll be surprised at what you actually learn from this program. And a lot of project managers I know are just green belts, not the black. So that's, kudos to you. I Thank you. applaud you on that one. Okay, so we need to go take a break. So this is Business is Hawaii. We'll see you back here shortly. Aloha, my name is Duration. You are watching Think Tech Hawaii. I will be hosting a show here every other Wednesday at 1 p.m. and we will be talking to a lot of experts and guests around sustainability, social justice, the future here in Hawaii, progressive politics, and a whole lot more. So please tune in and thank you for watching Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha, I'm Stan Osterman, Stan the Energy Man, every Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. If you're really interested in finding out what's going on in energy, especially here in Hawaii, but also all the way around the world, and especially if it has to do with hydrogen, look into Stan the Energy Man every Friday, 12 o'clock, Think Tech Hawaii. Be there. Aloha. And we are back. With me in studio today is Lena Jasek, owner of Premier Barbershop and Medispa. Got it right. <laughs> Thank you. So, Lena, before we went on break, we were talking about your employees, what you have two additional chairs now. But one of the key components about a good business is employee morale. What else are you doing to maintain and even retain all your employees? Yeah, so I think one really important thing is we look at them as more than just employees. They really are ohana. Um, and it's something we hold dear. We go to dinner with them, we go out with them, we hang out with them, um, and we're just a good cohesive team. Um, I think one really important thing on attracting and retaining our team is um, the education. So really what we want to do is not only um, develop as brand, but we want to give people opportunity. And I think a huge part of opportunity comes through education. So we have quarterly meetings where we're bringing guest speakers um, to talk about topics such as, uh, it could be something as simple as customer service, it could be something more specific to the profession. Um, and then the other thing we do is we take our employees on trips. We, uh, the last trip we, uh, the barbers went on was to California, and they actually leave tomorrow to go to Vegas for a barber convention. And that's something we, um, you know, support. There's a barber convention? Got to be the best. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Every time the word barber comes to mind, now I'm thinking this is how old I am. I keep thinking the barbershop quartet. So do you guys offer a singing, anything? No? If you want me to break some glasses, I could sing. 
<laughs> yeah, I, these, I need new glasses. Let's go for it. Okay, so you train, you educate. Is there anything else you do as a group? Yeah, definitely. We definitely try and give back to the community. We also try and make sure that our team feel comfortable educating. So um, a lot of the cosmetology and barbering schools, uh, the Skin Institute, Paul Mitchell, they'll bring their students through and it gives our team an opportunity to kind of showcase the good work that they do and then to shift from being the student to the professional to the teacher. Um, and then the other thing we try and do is really give back to our community and be really well involved. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a, a video or a picture of, um, there you go. <laughs> so tell us about this and who's pictured here. Yeah, this was one of our funnest events that I really enjoyed. Um, we do some really cool stuff. We cut at some upscale events like Scheidler's fundraiser, uh, Scheidler for UH. Um, we do uh, make a wish fundraiser where we'll do high end cuts there. But for the Hia Hia event, um, Hia Hia is a nonprofit. Um, they have mobile showers um, and they'll go around the state and offer shower service to the homeless. So we had the opportunity to work with them and provide cuts and also medical care uh, at their one year anniversary. Another fun one we did was with IHS, the Institute for Human Services. Mm -hmm. And we had the opportunity to um, work with their kids and provide cuts. And it's so amazing because we get so much out of it in return. We had great laughs and a good old time. Um, we brought our kids. Um, they got a chance to play with you know, the kids who we had opportunity to cut. And it was just fun. So you're out there community cutting homeless kids' hair and helping in that respect. But you also mentioned you did haircuts at luxury events? Yeah, so we'll do anything where the community's involved. Um, wherever we have a chance to give back, we try to do it. We've been so fortunate. We won um, Barbershop of the Year, voted by the people for uh, Honolulu uh, Star Advertiser um, for both 2018, where we thought, oh, yay, OK. And then in 19, it happened again. So well, it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I should have done some more research. Yeah, congratulations on thank that. Thank you. That's... Yeah, so with all the fortune that we've been blessed with, we definitely try and give back. Um, and I think it's something that we hold really dear and are very passionate about. And it's something that our team is very passionate about. When we came back from um, our most recent cut with IHS, they said, when are we doing it again? We're ready. So. If you have a nonprofit and we can get involved, let us know. Absolutely. So I do support a lot of different nonprofits, and I'll keep that in mind during meetings and setting up. That's, that's a great, because uh, giving back to the community is something that I've always believed in. Mm -hmm. So let's take a step backwards a little bit and talk about Rodney. Mm, He's a trained barber and one of the owners. Yes. So Rodney's amazing. Um, he is the spirit and life force really behind Premier. He's our constant that um, has really helped to put us in that number one spot. Um, so he had approached Kellen, uh, you know, before all the barbershops opened and said, let's, let's open a barbershop. So he really was the gel for the team downtown. Downtown still has that synergy and gel and we were able to expand to Ala Moana. Um, he's just an amazing person. Um, the three of us are very similar. We each have two kids. We're each divorced. So what we've tried to do is really create an environment at the shop where it's kid friendly, conducive to them, still have fun. Um, so it's kind of interesting. We have the bar and next to the bar, we also have a gumball machine and a toy dispenser. So it's, um, it's definitely a balance between all the different sides of our personalities. It sounds like the perfect place to send your husbands as you shop all the Moana ladies, so keep that in mind. Definitely. Get a haircut, have a drink, take the sons and daughters with you. Mom can shop. That's a must. All right, very good. So, I love the idea of a barber shop. Mm -hmm. I love the community sense because I grew up in a small town. Mm -hmm. yeah, the barber shop was where gossip and rumors are shared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, when I was in there getting my hair cut, I kept hearing the customers talk to each other as if they're lifelong friends. But I realized after that they just met at the shop. Yeah, so we definitely have crews. We have our early bird special, and those are for our clients who tend to come between 9.30 and noon. 
And then we have um, our customers who frequent in the evening. So they kind of all get to know each other. So it's kind of a hangout, some place to have a drink, some place to relax. And when, as you were talking about the wife shopping, most of the time it's the wife dragging the husband in because the wife is coming in to get laser hair removal, her eyebrows tattooed, um, get a B12 shot, get that energy boost. So we keep the whole family in our shop. I will pay more attention as I walk by now just to see who's there. <laughs> So, is there anything you want to share with us that's different about a barber shop? Because I could talk about hair for about this much because I don't yeah. have much, but. Well, we got a machine for that too. We do do hair restoration. So the hair restoration, um, it's, it's light therapy and it just helps to break down the dehydroxytestosterone uh, and stimulate hair growth. So it's like, it's like Rogaine on steroids um, and it just helps the follicle that's, it, it still exists to be more full, more robust. Um, and, you know, give your hair uh, back that fullness. So, yeah, we do some cool stuff. This forehead of mine keeps growing, so I don't know how much help it can get. Okay, so going back to the business end, you have a lot of employees. What types of services and what type of benefits can you offer someone that's in the service industry, like a barber? Yeah, definitely. So um, for our full-time barbers, we offer them uh, you know, your standard medical, dental, so on and so forth. Um, we try to offer them not only opportunity to grow professionally, but also personally, um, develop their customer service skills, um, make sure that their life and work are completely in balance, because that's really important. And then from there, we have a few who really want to expand and open up their own shop or open up their own school. So we try and back those dreams and make those dreams a reality. And that's something we're really passionate about it as well, is making sure our team is, are each individually successful and able to take their dreams to that next level and that new height. So you don't mind losing a barber, opening up his own shop, and potentially taking customers? Oh, we would clap for that. But we also have, our, have plans to open up a few other shops. So as those barbers, not only that individual barber, but it takes a team. So when those teams are ready, which we slowly have brewing and in the making, mm -hmm. then we'll move them to their own uh, location and they'll, you know, offer, uh, you know, ownership. Managing in that their own next. shop. And, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to expand and build on the team. Yeah. Concept. And, and especially a lot of, um, a lot of people, they, a lot of barbers, they're amazing barbers and they would love to have that, sh the structure behind what we provide with the policies, the procedures, the HR, and mm -hmm. the payroll, all the back-end stuff that uh, myself and Kellen um, know and are very familiar with, we're able to bring that to the table and help support them so that they can continue to do what they do well, but be supported. Yeah, that's part of the business a lot of business owners tend to forget is mm -hmm. all that little back-end stuff. Yeah, I'm a great chef, but I don't know how to set up the front of the house or yeah. order dishes or make payroll. Mm -hmm. And even though you're the greatest chef in the world, you might have those issues. And I didn't think a barbershop had that issue, but now it's coming to light. Yep. It's another business. It's like any other business. So prior to this, Helen had worked at American Savings Bank for, I want to say, over a decade. Um, Actually, that's how I met him the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And so he, he's a commercial banker, and it was his job to help people. Um, in the same way, it was my job before, you know, doing uh, the barbershop in Medispa to help um, the company that I worked for expand and systematize and make sure we were delivering the best clinical care possible. You were a nurse before? I'm uh, still a nurse. <laughs> pardon me, still a nurse. <laughs> Nurses, no, it stays with us. Okay. <laughs> yes. So nurse, business owner, um, went to school for um, um economics and healthcare administration, nursing and biotech. So kind of using all those degrees to be the bridge between healthcare and finance. Oh, you forgot the lean six. Oh, that's that's, yeah. A yeah, that's a, yeah, the black belts. <laughs> wow. Great Thanks. certification and that one I wish I probably should get. <laughs> it's fun. I can imagine. It's a lot of studying too. Yeah, so you see where um, our drive for continued education comes from. For it's, our it's a huge driver, and as a manager myself, I've always felt educating your employees and your staff, mm -hmm. as long as they're happy, learning, and growing, they help you support your business. Yeah. I got my hair cut through Jen. Yeah. 
Yeah. And she was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And um, other than the fact I couldn't hear her because she was always using some equipment in my ear, uh -huh, uh -huh. I just nodded when I could, and she still cut my hair straight. Yeah, she's one of our senior barbers. She's amazing. She just takes that customer service to a whole other level. We've had a whole bunch of guys fall asleep and start drooling in her chair. They're so comfortable. <laughs> Was that because of her work or because they had the shot before they sat down? Um, it would be the shot, the quality of her work, and the little lomi she does as well. Uh -huh. I was in a hurry, so I didn't get the lomi, so I might, I might have to come back for that one. You missed out. It's a dangerous combination. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to run out of time shortly. Is there anything you want to share about the shop before we end the program? Um, just come by. Come by and visit us. Um, we have a special for the month of November. Um, we're partnering up with uh, Pride Aloha. Um, so 25% of our proceeds, when you mention Pride Aloha, will be um, donated to Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction. Um, and that's a great in the community nonprofit who's um, helping to provide medical care to the community. And on top of that, if you mention Think Tech, you'll get an additional 20% off all Medispa services as well. So, thank you. Leia, thank you for having, coming on the show with, and joining us today. And I hope everyone learned more about being a barber and getting your hair cut right and getting that super precision cut like I did. And I look a little bit better than I should, but it, it's the haircut. You look great. It's the haircut. You it's look me. great. <laughs> all right, we are out of time, but thank you for joining us, Lena. Big thank you to you and the production staff here in the studio. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, please let us know and bring, call us at the studio or leave a comment online. This is in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. We look forward to seeing you here next week.